let me get all this posted to my social medias because I did not plan to go live. There we go. Share, copy. Post it to Instagram. So we picked up some treasures today. Oh, sorry about that. We picked up some treasures today. And I gotta get some of it listed. So, I'm gonna... I was like, well, I'm just gonna go live and list a little bit. Won't be live for a long time because I don't have my setup all done, but like I don't have my chair over here. Alright, there we go. Hi guys. Let's see, what have we all got to list today? We've got quite a few things um, from today and other days. But first, I've got these glasses I picked up over at the antique mall for five bucks. And I want to get them listed. Here's what they look like. And I thought they would say Culver, but they actually say Carrier, which is kind of weird. So we'll get those listed. And I calmed them, and they seem to have decent comps. So I was surprised to find them for so cheap Carrier glasses. And I forgot if I Google Lens them or if I just searched up carrier glasses. But they've sold before. It might be Google Lens, so we'll do that. Right there. Mm, it's nice out, so we got the windows open. Oh, they're air conditioning glasses? Carrier carrier air conditioning glasses oh they are huh I didn't know that okay so these are carrier air conditioning glasses and set of how many just one sold for 20 bucks I guess so there we go um, let's see what they are listed for, and we'll of course undercut, and there we go, six ounce, someone's listing them for 20 bucks a piece, or a set of two for 40 bucks. I'm going to do a set of four for 30 bucks and see what happens. We didn't pick these up today, but I did just grab them from my sink because I washed them. There we go. Make sure they're all good. No chips. There's just some imperfections in the design, but other than that, it's all good. Some measurements real quick. Get a picture of this one that's kind of the design's kind of weird on it. You guys see that? Hello, LaDonna. But yeah, this one's got a little imperfection right here, just in the design. I don't know why. The other ones are fine though. We turn them around, get another picture. We're just listing a little bit. I haven't gone live in a minute, so I thought I would real quick for just a little bit. We picked up some cool stuff today too that I'm about to show you guys. And I got my my rag here. 
So we can wipe down anything. So a lot of stuff I picked up were dusty. Um, man, my nail is bothering me. What is going on with it? There we go. So someone had four listed or two listed for forty. I'm gonna list the th four for thirty. And just do that. Um, there we go. Because just one sold for 20 bucks. So there we go, guys. Oh, yeah, and the bottoms are interesting. I forgot to get a photo of that. The bottoms are like ridged. I don't know. Kind of reminds me, reminds me of like bubble wrap, kind of like tiny bubble wrap. I didn't get a photo of that in the listing, so let's make sure we do that. Yeah, I hope everyone's having a good Friday. Went and sourced today for me, and then. I got home, I was so tired, so I took a little break, played some video games, and now we're here on YouTube, I was say on eBay, but there we go, done, and revise, there we go. Yeah, this set here we just listed for 30, move them over here. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, I gotta do some research. I picked up this today. <laughs> Look at it. I've got to get my Briard Geranium glasses listed this weekend. I'll be listening all weekend to make up for spending time with my granddaughter last weekend. Yeah, I need a list. I've been really, really half-assing my listing lately. Been just trying to clean. Um, you guys won't know this yet, but I did take a break from sourcing yesterday. I didn't go out at all, so I went out today, and I don't think I plan to go out tomorrow at all. So, um, just because I have a lot of stuff and I didn't have, I don't have space for it. I don't have space for all the stuff. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what the what's this hand painted Takashi. Taka, Takahashi, Takahashi cat mug, Takahashi cat mug. What do we think this is going to sell for, guys? I'm going to click search. My guess is 20 bucks on this little cute mug. It's signed on the bottom. I just clicked search on my phone. I haven't even looked. We're going to look now. Okay, there's several designs. Okay, we're seeing some good results. Anyone want to guess? I hear you. I'm picking up some pottery up tonight, but I definitely don't need to. LOL, 26 bucks. Hey, at least it's cheap. <laughs> my problem was I was doing a lot of large dollar amount sourcing. Sorry, my iPad likes to bounce around. Okay, um, yeah, I see $15, $18, $26, $35, $27, $40, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1
hopefully you guys don't hear all the noises outside. The neighbors are being a little loud. One of them's doing yard work, I think. Oh, and Taco's here. Hi, Taco. You want to be on the video? Come here. Oh, my goodness. Say howdy. He came to visit. Now he's like, put me down, peasant. Oh, there you go. He's like, I was exploring and you just ruined my vibe. Oh, he's smelling the glasses that I just listed. <laughs> So yeah, like I said guys, we'll list this one for 28 question. Did I miss anything? Yeah, I've just been... Today was a good day to go sourcing. It did start to get a little hot though. Um, I got home, rode my bike for a little bit, and now I'm just chilling. Well, listening, but there we go, and we'll list this one. It seems to have a good sell-through rate if it's under, like, around the 25 to 28 range, which is why I'm doing 28. 28 plus 2 pound shipping it has it at. We're going to call it good. Alright, what else we got? We got a couple of other things here that I grabbed today. Oh, this one was fun. This was my first find of the day. Paid it 10 cents. It's a John Deere, like, denim mug, or mug, um, koozie. And that was the only thing I found at that sale. Does it smell smoky? It does smell a little smoky. Mmm. I might have to like smell treat this. I was gonna list it right now, but it does have a cigarette smell to it, so I'm gonna wait on that. And then we got a bunch of these. We got three of them. These little mini trains. A dollar a piece is what I paid. Um, I'm gonna try to find it. I just looked up Atlas micro trains and some came up. Atlas train, I'm gonna put, this one has Wabash on it. See if something comes up. Or do they, a lot of them say that maybe. See some of these are crazy comps. Hmm. What about if I scan the back barcode? I don't think that's going to come up with anything, but... Okay, that one? Oh, there we go. Excuse me. 3812. Trying to find one that's similar, but I can't. Maybe this one requires more research. Let me check out another one. This one's Micro Trains Special Run. This one doesn't have a barcode anywhere. Micro Trains Special Run. I know nothing about these, but it has like a 60 year thing on it. Sixty years. 
Okay, some of these are going to be hard to find, it looks like. And then, oh, I picked up some of these because I've sold this card set before, but it was large playing cards. These are small ones, so I grabbed those. And then we got these, this one. This one actually has a barcode. One comes up, $26.59, free ship. And one sold for about 15 plus ship. So maybe I'll lot these together, maybe. We'll see. I'm going to look them up a little bit better, though. What else? Oh, we got this speaker. I should test it, I guess. For five bucks today. He said it works. I took his word for it because I was like, well, even for parts, these sell for around 10 to 15. So, ew, it's got like gunk on it. It's got like hairs and stuff in there. Let me clean that out. Watch, I'm about to do all this cleaning. Yeah, it's got like hairs and stuff in there. Does this, I was like, does this smell like cigarettes too? No. Okay, how does this work? How do you turn it on? It's on. We're going to test it. Waiting for Bluetooth to pop up. Did it work? I'm about to get demonetized here. Might be loud. Let me turn it down. It works. Now I'm going to pause it before I get demonetized. <laughs> Cool. Okay, so that works. Oh, I should have tested. Oops. I disconnected. I should have tested the volume on it, too. Make sure all the buttons work. And I might charge it as well. just disconnected itself after I turned it down all the way okay cool well so far I'm gonna say it works but I should also test it off camera because I so that way I can like play music and make sure it turns on and off have someone call me but as far as I can tell it works so I'm going to take photos of it there's the charger dock and it comes with the charger on the inside very nice uh we'll see how much this goes for this is like the teal one let's see let's scan the barcode there's multiple barcodes on the bottom this box is like needs a wipe down this stuff was all in like a dirty garage and the house was like halfway renovated so Okay, we scanned the wrong barcode. Let's try UPC. There we go. Okay, maybe I'll need to actually look it up. This is the JBL Flip 3. This one's like the green one.
Yeah, I see one here for parts, about 15 bucks. Um, there's a green one that sold for parts around 25 bucks. Did it say what color it was? Aqua would still said green too. Try that. Did I miss anything? No. Pre-owned, just the speaker sold for 40 free ship. 32 plus ship, 35 free ship. Mine's got the box and the original charger. So, someone put one for 62 bucks. That's kind of high. Okay, so there's none that are green, in the box, pre-owned, not for parts, listed right now. So, what I'm going to do is pre-owned, just the speaker sold for 40 free ship. I'm going to do like 45 plus ship just to see what happens. Especially when it works as of right now. Um, I'll test it some more also before I list it. It is a little dirty, so I want to make sure I get that in the photos. There's like, you know, like some of that grime gets in like the speaker parts. That's kind of what happened here. So make sure you get photos of that. It's a neat little speaker though. And then, oops. got the charger and fold it up nicely. And we'll twist tie it. Make it all nice. Nice and neat. There we go, and I always just save all my twist ties so I can do stuff like that, make it look all nice for the customer. And like I said, we'll do we'll do 45 plus ship and see what happens because there's none listed right now that are like working in the box with the cord. 45 plus ship done. There we go, guys. Listed this little speaker. Usually I don't find stuff like this at a decent price, so. What else have we got that's easy to list on the live? Mm, let's see. Okay, we can probably do this. I bought this. Ooh, keys. Hey, how's your watch hours? Getting there? Haven't watched the latest video yet. We got there. We got monetized, but um, watch hours I think are doing okay. We bought this, guys. Really cool. They're using it as a pencil holder, but it's like a planter. So three bucks I paid. Let's see, I gotta figure out where to put these. I'll just dump them in this box right here. So there's some crazy comps for this on eBay. Um, it is marked on the bottom, on the bottom a little bit. 
um, I forgot what it was. I think it was Hager, H-A-E-G-E-R, I think. Um, let me wipe it down. Yes, I am fully monetized now. Yes. So, some good one. This is like hard, like you can't even wipe that down. It like grabs. Just for the most part, get the dust off, make it look presentable for the photos. Yeah, a very cool little piece though. Alright, let me... I've not come across that piece. It's very interesting. Um, let me Google Lens it real quick. Hager lion head vase. So this one, this sucks. Now I'm watching this knowing I need to go list. Thanks for making me feel guilty. Hey, go list. Yeah, so this person has a list for 125. It has five watchers on it. Hager lion head Vase. I'm gonna see who has the cheapest one listed right now, but it looks around the hundred dollar range. Yep, there's only two listed right now. Let's look at solds. Um, someone took an offer on one for 145. That's all I see. So I'm gonna try to undercut and get this sold quickly. I think that's a good plan. What's the watchers on this other one? No watchers on the other one. It says it's an 11 inch vase. I don't think this one's as large. Wait, 11 inches tall? Oh, that's the problem. Mine's not 11 inches tall. This one's like five. Five and a half. I might have to go close my window. So this one's five and a half inches tall. Okay, then that's the one that's going between 30, 35. There we go. Okay, still a cool item. Um, five and a half inches tall. Screaming kids. Yeah, there's a lot of them around here. Uh, between 30 and 35, you said? This one's in decent condition. I don't see any that are the smaller ones. But MCM MCM Royal. MCM. Do I have enough characters? Royal. Vintage 1970s, five and a half inch tall. MCM Royal Hager Lion Head Sandstone Ceramic Planter. And that leaves four characters left at the end. Good. Sweet. So you said between 30 and 35. Shoot, I was hoping this was like the $100 one. piece though regardless three bucks into like maybe 35 is good there we go used 
make sure it's not the 11 inch tall one. Very cool. Um, this weighs probably about about five pounds. And done. Also, listing live keeps me motivated because I have not been motivated to list at all. So this helps. This is my best find from today. And it's gonna be a little bit of a pain to list and clean. Hello. It's gonna be a little bit of a pain. But now you know to look out for it, yes. Look at this. Oh my god, it's heavy. I've got a baby. It's, uh, what was it? Sandicast Tiger. And it's signed, uh, Sandra, Sandra something, Sandra B. I gotta wipe it down though, but over a hundred dollars. Whew, that thing is heavy and it's dusty. So I'm gonna get my lights directed on it and wipe it down here. It's gonna be a little bit of a pain to ship, but I think I think that's okay. Lots of bubble wrap, for sure. Clean out its eyes, cause it's got dust all over it. Make those eyes shine. I need to get some new uh, poster board for my listing area because the poster board I have now is getting pretty dirty. Oh, it's looking much better after I wipe it down. The colors are a lot more nice and vibrant. Sorry guys, I don't mean to shake y'all around. My table's just... Especially with this heavy thing on it and I'm trying to wipe it down, it probably isn't doing too well for that. Um, more screaming kids. right out there. Let me turn it to the side here because it's got like some dust. Actually I'm gonna do this on the floor. Hold on guys. I'm gonna disappear for a second. It's got some dust that needs to get out of that little crevice in the arm. we go and I think it's also probably better I'm not shaking the table around for you guys so all right oh here we go it's all clean and beautiful look at that it looks much better oh <laughs> yeah we got this little guy very cool I don't even know like it's not like an outdoor decoration that's what I think it is oh did I miss anything no. okay Sanda cast tiger and put Sandra because it's signed by a Sandra so there's a white tiger currently listed for 125 right there um, but 
But here's exactly what I have. 16 and a half inches, that seems about right. A comp for the one that I have right here. $150. And it looks to be in similar condition. A couple chips on that one I see. How much did the buyer pay for shipping? 21 bucks. So, let's get this thing listed. No idea how much it weighs. Probably around 15 pounds, I'm thinking. this 12 13 14 yeah that is the get pictures all around that's so cute I thought it was one of those like uh, wine bottle holders there's some of like cats holding it and I thought that's what this was Hear those dang neighbor dogs that's why i thought first as well yeah and i've also had one of those um they're called like cat butt tissue dispensers it looks like you're pulling the tissue out of the cat's butt and i thought that was pretty funny i've sold one of those before <laughs> it's a little funny and where's that signature at oh it's on the other side Oh my goodness, I need to make sure not to drop this. There we go, and I'm gonna go weigh this on my big scale. And in a second here, I have my big scale out in the hallway there. Condition used. I'm gonna put it for 160 just to. I don't know, just the one sold. I wish it told me how fast it sold. Excuse me. I'm gonna do 175 just to see what happens. They had it at 8 pounds, 4 ounces. This is definitely more than 8 pounds. I'm gonna go weigh it real quick. Hopefully, actually, I missed an angle for the pictures, I think. I do see some, like, imperfections on the ears. I want to make sure I got a photo of that. Let's do another photo here. This is a good angle. There we go. Some imperfections as shown, period. Please review the photos closely for condition, period. I'm going to put that in the description. Okay, we're going to go weigh this real quick on my scale. I will be right back, guys. It comes out to 16.8 pounds. Sixteen point eight. So I'm gonna put it as 18 pounds to account for packing material. 
Um, but with the shipping discount and everything, it should all even out. I'm not too worried on it. Um, there we go. Okay, I gotta send a bye LaDonna. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. At least you already listed 500 things in 20 minutes. No, I'm not that fast. <laughs> Not that fast, Roman. I've been really dragging butt on listing lately. So that's why I'm live to kind of hold me accountable. Next thing I picked up was this. I do need to change the batteries though. You're watching from Thailand. Why are you in Thailand? I'm gonna wait to test this because there is some corrosion in the battery compartment and I'll have to clean it out and yada yada. Um, what else have we got to list here? I'm trying to think of a couple more things that we can list before I go. This I didn't pick up today, but it's really cute. A little, like, pewter sunflower napkin holder. Hi, Roman from Thailand. <laughs> Wipe this down. Just get a few listings up today. I just feel like relaxing, to be honest. There's a Russian YouTuber. He does live streams from Thailand. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got this little napkin holder. Nothing like it on eBay. None listed when I put Peter Sunflower napkin holder. Just one listed. Doom, doom. It's Steven Donna, not Steven La Donna. Sunflower, metal, napkin holder, sunflower, vintage pewter metal, napkin holder, sunflower, farmhouse, cottage core, botanical, floral, botanical. Lisa got me up and out taking pictures now. Needed the motivation. Woo! I'm glad. How's my second favorite reseller? Russell! I have your gifts. I haven't showed it on camera. Maybe I should do that now. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta go over here. I got gifts from Russell. I think this is all it. Guys, I got gifts from Russell. I, they, Russell won the $50 from my dad. And we ended up doing where I just bought something from a store. So I bought a turtle, or sorry, a frog. It's actually on my mantle behind the shelf right here. But in addition, Russell also sent me this knockoff popple. Very cool. It's still in the box because I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. But this is super cool. It's got like the rubber face. Really cool. Russell also sent, there was like a hat and stuff. Where is it? Oh, it's over there. Hold on. I'll grab the frog too. I'll grab it. It's so cute. I didn't expect it to be this small. And then Russell also sent me this hat. Very cool. And there's the frog I bought for 50, like 50 bucks almost. I, 
I had one just like this that was brown growing up, but it was a large frog. It was like a 16 inch frog. So that's what I was expecting. <laughs> Not this little guy. Well, look at him. He's so cute. Make it into a ball. It does that. I forget. Hold on. Yeah, you can like. Oh, look at that. It's got a little heart. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Russell. Yeah, who's your first favorite reseller? <laughs> but yeah, I bought that thing from Russell, and Russell sent me a bunch of additional stuff, so thank you very much. I kept it in the box over there so I could remember to show it on video. But I've been slacking. That plush wants some snacks. You're your favorite reseller. Haha. <laughs> okay, now to get this listed. banging things around I'm so excited when my husband gets home we're gonna make some more tacos we've had street tacos like three times in the past like week and a half and we make them ourselves but they're better from the taco truck because they make the tacos for you at the taco truck but when I make them they're also really good well Connor helps too but they're not that hard to make There's some Onion, cilantro, lime. Oh, I just sold something for 95 bucks, guys. Some Doc Martens. I'm glad they sold, because I've been wondering when I'd get another high dollar sale. But yeah, here we go, guys. We just listed this. I'm going to do 20 bucks. Pretty owned. I need some water. Where's my water? to step over stuff because my office is a mess which is what I've been working on and I told myself I wouldn't go sourcing until I cleaned it mostly up and it was <laughs> and then um then I bought more stuff so I missed a message I know I did that bootleg popple is very sought after to people who collect popples nice you didn't tell me we're going live. Is it because I said I hate Chipotle? I, I'm sorry, Michelle, I kind of forgot to let you know. I'm sorry. Why am I breathing so... You just cannot sell it on eBay. I could probably sell it on Mercari then. It's cute. I might hold on to it for a little bit. Shoot, I said I was going to... Amy's here. I said I was going to be done at 4. But now I'm like motivated because you guys are here. So I'm going to keep listening. What else have I got? I've got stuff all over to list. It's just, I guess I'll list this thing. It's just, I'm going to need to clean it out, but it's got some corrosion. So I'm going to wipe it down and hope it works because I didn't think to look in there. You're very motivated to go to the time in now. And guys, here in a couple weeks. Oh, so this is something I was unsure about. So, I'm going to this festival in Vegas here in two weeks. Actually, two weeks from tomorrow is when that festival is, but we're leaving two weeks from yesterday. We're leaving, like on our flight. And I want to do a whole vlog about it. Should I put that vlog on my reselling channel? Usually when I travel, I do little travel vlogs and I just post it on my reselling channel on awning picker but I'm also like I it's not picking content so I'm kind of unsure what's this take triple A's oh my goodness hold on my batteries are over here
So I think I'm just gonna post it here on Ink Picker because I think if I use the right keywords and a good thumbnail, it can actually get me some good views on this channel, even though it's just gonna be for that video and not for like the channel, you know? That's my idea. Amy, it's time to dig inside those big crates again and look for cash. That's literally what she does though. Doing multiple things at once. I'm texting my husband, I'm doing this listing, talking to you guys. You'll never guess what happened to Vegas with a clickbait thumbnail. No. I need to go do something like, like, I went to Vegas for Sick New World. No, I was there, Amy. Or did Roman, you mean Roman missed it? I was there, I clicked, or I, I said hi, and then I didn't talk again. <laughs> I had you as background. To get those views. Okay. Is this going to work? Amy, I know, I was at the bins and fell asleep while driving back again. Oh boy. Roman's too tired to work. Okay, does this work? Oh no. Excuse me. It doesn't work. Now I gotta use this handy dandy battery tester. Yeah, look. One of my viewers sent me a fake pop pool. Isn't it cute? It's so cute when it's all rolled up with its little tail hanging out. Okay, now I got, now, here's my process. I wiped them down, it's not working. Took the batteries and they're not working. So, I've got this battery tester. I'm gonna make sure all the batteries are actually working. And if I verify they all do, then that means this device isn't working. See, so you put the battery on and then it shows you the charge on the battery. So these I just opened, all these Amazon ones. But since it needs an outrageous amount of batteries, I'm gonna make sure they all work. So maybe this does, just doesn't work, unfortunately. I'm listing too. Yay, motivating people to list. Okay, okay, I think I found the problem. These two batteries are dead. Dead batteries. They go in the trash. And I gotta find two more that actually work. What about these two rechargeables? Oh, these rechargeables are poor. Poor. Poor and good signal, okay? Poor and good signal. Digging around for batteries. I'm not gonna use the one that has the poor signal. That one has good. What about this one? That one's very good. Sponsored by. I had three returns come through right after Payout Tuesday. My eBay account was negative 150. I haven't talked about it yet on my videos. Do I list every day? I try to. I try to list every day. Um, sometimes it doesn't happen. So in order to keep that activity going in my store, sometimes I will end and sell similar. And I used to list every day, but right now, since the weather's been nicer out, I've been trying to cook more at the house and stuff like that, I haven't really had time to list. And I'm trying to like take time for myself and like play video games and stuff, you know? So, Sometimes it doesn't happen. But in those cases, I will try to end and sell similar, at least a couple of items to keep that activity going in my store. And sometimes it's result resulted in some sales. All right, guys, we're gonna test it out again. No, oh, oh, oh. 
Hey, it works. What should I make a label of to test it? What should I, what should I make a sticker, a label of, guys? And while I wait for a response, I'm going to wipe it down. Somebody ink picker. Hey, thanks. So that works. We'll do that. Inked. Make one that says Russell is my favorite. <laughs> See if it works. Hey. It works. And then use that. Inked picker. My new inked picker sticker, guys. A million dollars. <laughs> cool, it works. Cool, good to know. Deco mode. Usually I just test it to make sure it, it, planned con, oh my gosh. Usually I just test it to make sure it actually prints. Make sure it's all clean and good and it's got labels in it. So, go buy for five bucks. Actually, <laughs> how about this? You go to my website and buy my Inky Pinky sticker, and then I'll send you my normal sticker and this sticker. It's a deal. So you get all three for five bucks. How about that? I can't just sell you this one for five bucks. <laughs> deal. All right, it's on my website. And this one has the big cartridges, mine. My label maker has like the ones that are like half the size. This one's huge. Oh shoot, I should have, I should have taken pictures of it working. Anyone else want an inked picker label? Because <laughs> I'm putting the batteries back in, I have to, to take pictures. So now's your time if you want a $5 inked picker label. <laughs> there we go. Alright, this is the... Um... Brother PT twelve ninety. Y'all are quiet. Did all did all you guys go to the website? Um It's about twenty dollars. Twenty dollar keyboard. Or keyboard. Do you have a link to the page? Shekel, are you here? It's just inkpicker.com. Beard King Picker's in the house, hello. We're selling $5 Inked Picker labels here. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> no, no this, this is reserved for you. For you, Cali, Cal Deals. If anyone else wants more, it has to be like ink picker and then like something else. It's a it's a one time edition sticker. <laughs> I don't know if Shekel's here anymore. He might be working. My mods work. Some of them do. <laughs> Unless they're Mo. The Mo is also full time like me. I need more mods, actually. Maybe.
how to apply Uh, I just gotta know you and make sure you don't screw over my channel. Cause Roman, Roman is bold. Roman's got like 30 million mods. <laughs> Roman, you're really bold with that. I couldn't trust people like that. I don't trust like that. Someone could go and destroy your channel. Uh, doesn't say Mo. Roman, I mean. I hope everyone's having an amazing Friday though. I am waiting for my husband to come home so we can make tacos. So that will be the highlight. Besides finding some, some cool stuff. Donna home now loves her sticker. Yay! I'm glad. I hand deliver the stickers guys if you live in Lincoln, Nebraska. I just get mod privileges to everyone in Thailand's streamer chat. Oh my gosh. I'm one of the people in your chat room that doesn't have mod. So. Roman channel is the only one that gives me the opportunity to be a mod. There you go, guys. 20 bucks plus shipping I'm going to sell this one for. Did someone get that link for for Cali Cali Cal deals? Do you still need that link? One of the three returns I had this week was a lady that is sending back a Johnny Was shirt. Guess why? Doesn't fit. I don't know. Um, what else have we got? Oh, I forgot that label maker has the instructions. Oops. I'm not going to retake photos. I'm just going to make sure to send it with. Spice treasures. I love the items that I ordered from you, especially the non-bait heart bowl. Yay! I'm so glad you ordered those. I hope you like them and I hope you like the sticker. Guys, if you ever order anything from me, I'll throw in a free ink picker sticker. You just got to let me know you're a viewer. But the inky pinky stickers, which some of you guys don't even know about yet because unless you're on my Instagram, I guess you don't know. Those are special edition. Only on inkedpicker.com. Okay, here's the next thing. A KitchenAid food grinder. Add returns on shoes where it doesn't fit for the third time in like two weeks. Three buyers and two of them I didn't refund their shipping. I have free returns, so I have to, I think I have to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just started doing, um, top rated. Oops. Top rated plus. Sorry about that, guys. That was probably loud. So, I have the free returns. Jeez. She said the colors were too bright. That's what Johnny was is known for. Oh my gosh. My sticker is up with the rest now. Yes, guys. Spice Treasures came through. Laura. And bought, like, three things from me. So my phone started, cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. And I'm like, what the heck? And I look, and it's the order. And I was like, wow. I didn't know with, like, a multi-order like that, it notifies you for every single one. That KitchenAid grinder, you better be selling for higher than mine. You got the same one. Doing it wrong in the house. Hello. Happy Friday. So... At the sale, I paid 50 bucks. We got that tiger I listed, that other tiger head planter, that brother label maker, the JBL thing. This, we also got some Woodstock chimes. Um, what else did we get from that sale? I think that was it. Oh, and a whole thing of cat toys because the guy heard I had cats and he was like, 
trying to sell me <laughs> this whole box of cat toys, so I took it. Even though my cats don't need new toys, but... Yeah, guys, we got this one, too. Just funny, because we have one of these, but, um... It's not kitchen. Actually, it is KitchenAid. It's the metal one, not the plastic one. Gotta make sure we have all the pieces. I might gotta go close my window. People are outside making noises. Making weird noises. I don't like it. I swear, I find a salad shooter? Salad shooter? What's a salad? You mean a shallot? A shallot shinner? Salad spinner? Is that what you meant? I just need a picture with all the pieces. Okay, we got that. We got the the presser presser down er piece. The masher, whatever you want to call it. The little coil piece. Then we got LOL. <laughs> Kidding, I think mine sold last year. Basically, with clothing and shoes, some buyers love to borrow things. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, no free returns. Yeah. I wanted to test out the top rated plus. Is anyone else here top rated plus? Cool, we have all the pieces here. Shooter, promise. Really? I didn't know that was a thing. A shallowed, shallowed shitter. Let's get that QR code. Or the UPC. I could part it out, but I have all the pieces. Also, I broke the lid. Anyone who's top rated can be top rated plus. It's just a tag you get. Yes, I believe so. I just sold something. Tupperware keychain. Yeah, so my question is, I just changed over to top rated plus. I want to know, is there a way for me to see how much money I'm saving by being top rated plus? Because I haven't been able to figure that out because they said I'm supposed to save 10% on my fees. But where do I find like the dollar amount of how much I saved? That's my question. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Amy, lately with so many weird buyers, it's actually good for me. I've had weird shoe buyers. <laughs> I had someone say, oh, can you send a picture of these on so I can see? Because they were like these, they were called yoga mat sandals, but there was like a divider in between each toe for the sandal. And I got a message saying, can you try these on so I can see how they are supposed to fit? I'm like, they're my size, but I'm not going to... You don't get that for free. Yeah, shoes are worse in terms of returns also. I haven't had any shoe returns yet um, since becoming top rated plus. Looks like this sells for around 15, so I'm just gonna put 15.
other size over it. Some brands may run smaller. Yeah. Oh, it is cracked a little. I better take a picture of that. I just noticed. Yeah, people can buy a clothing item. Keep for 20 days, file return. Yeah. Unfortunately. KitchenAid mixer listed, or mixer, this thing listed. What else we got? I got this bottle, but I don't know if it's one I wanted to list. I gotta go through them again. Um, what else? Gonna do a few more things. I'm sure it's fun to get back clothes that smell like liquor, cigarettes, and regret. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's list these. Got a whole lot of these little receivers. Just gonna lock them up and sell them. Are they all Radio Shack? No, some are Power Mind. Power Mind and Radio Shack. Okay, so those two are Radio Shack and these three are Power Mind. Let's comp them again though. Radio Shack Wireless Remote Control Extender. They worth it. Honestly, I don't want to deal with them. They're not really worth it. Maybe 12, 15 bucks. And that's if they work. So never mind. Gonna throw those over here. What else? My mom gave me this to sell, and um, it's worth quite a bit, guys. This Avon perfume, Little Blossom. What does it smell like? Hmm. Not how I expected it to smell. <laughs> I'll show you a comp. It's full. I worked at car dealership once. People would take a test drive and keep, yep. My parents have a car dealership. They go on the test rides with people, so they don't do that. And I also used to work at a car, car dealership. And they would send the salesmen with them, of course. Yeah, so if it was full, 150 free ship. I 
don't know, it's under half full, so I'm trying to figure out what to list it for. Russell, they went shopping. Probably. I would say this is about 40% full. <sighs> Measure. Just leaving the day job, headed home to get some listing done. Woo! Get that listing. I hope people here are listening. Um, I list used perfume on eBay as well. I haven't had bad luck on doing that yet. And I'm hoping this will just sell quickly. <laughs> but I have listed used perfume before on eBay. So do it at your own risk, guys. I should be finger looking at you for listening to use for free, but I'd, I'd have to take mine down. We'll see. If it gets taken down, I'll throw it on Mercari. I, I'm just not sure about Mercari right now. If I want to keep selling on there. It's just a lot to cross list. I'm getting sick of cross listing to be honest with you. What else have we got to list? Got this little bottle, Palace Pharmacy. I just sold my Amy Dolan's foam head for $89. Nice! This is a $35 bottle, maybe. I'm going to list it for miss anything? Okay, what else do we want to list? Got piles and stuff here, but I 
get like listing block. I'm like, ooh, what do I want to list? I don't know. I don't know what I want to list. What's this one? Harder's five ounce bottle. Yay! So glad to have caught a live. Hello, Jody. I spent two hours walking dogs at my local animal shelter today. Those pit bulls will wear you out on a walk. <laughs> I love pit bulls. They're so cute. I know some people are like, oh, you know. But. Okay, there's no listings for this. So, Antique Carter's. Five ounce glass bottle, oddly shaped, oblong. Love your videos. Thanks for teaching us. Thank you so much. Oh, that makes me so happy. Thank you. We're just listening. Um, I'm waiting for my husband to come home, and I haven't shut up about this. We're gonna make tacos, and that's like the highlight of my day. So, Russell, I work at an animal shelter, and volunteers are awesome. Thank you for your time. I used to volunteer at one. It's just, it's hard to find time. But if I'm like retired, I think I would have fun doing that. Or if I like couldn't work or something. I finally learned about uranium glass by watching Lisa's videos. During the eclipse, all my uranium glass watched eclipse wearing. Oh my gosh, Roman. I don't know. Where do you get these ideas in your head? Roman could like make some really weird like TV show, like with all the ideas going on. It's just funny. <laughs> Do you guys have the special taco plates? I have the taco holders. They kind of looks like, you know how like a cigarette, like an ashtray has those little like dips. It's a little holder that holds four of them. But it's like a little plastic wavy thing. I've got one of those. There we go. This is that bottle. Yeah, she's great. I'm learning a lot just starting out as a new reseller. It's, it's so reassuring. Oh, if you have any questions, let me know. Happy to answer them. Although you guys are a little bit behind on my videos. Um, there's some other things that have happened since, like, my video. Make some tacos! Pioneer Tacos. Let's see. Bottle. Oops, I misspelled bottle. Hmm. Wheatling, Wyoming. This one's an interesting one. Taco mukbang. I, I hate eating on camera. <laughs> I did go on Ken vs. Ten, Ken S S S K promo. I did go on there and eat mac and cheese with him, but like I'm so weird. But like, and like I hate chewing noises, so. The thought of me doing a video and eating and like, ugh, grosses me out. I think I'll definitely take you up on that for sure. I'm on, I'm on Instagram too. If you ever have any questions, if anyone has any questions, I'm just on there as ink picker. Yeah, it's kind of gross. Yeah, I hate eating noises so much. Pioneer Pharmacy Wheatland, Wyoming. But I will, I will make food on camera. I could, I could be like ADH Dave and do like little cooking lives or something. Jody, you will do great. The first few months can be a big learning curve. Yes. I remember when I first started out. 
it was it was definitely a learning a learning experience but I learned a lot from YouTube will do new cooking videos soon. Yeah, Roman does cooking videos. So check them out, guys. This definitely is, but it's been so fun and been going pretty well. Not sure how well I'm doing, but a couple sales every few days is a great start. Yes, for sure. My educational videos are always entertaining when they're 12 hours long. Just sit there and talk, Roman. People will show up. That's what happens to me. I also had these, and I picked these up at a garage sale, like, a year ago. Well, actually, before we moved. And there was a sticker over this part right here, and I look, and guess what it says? Jimmy Choo. Which, I know, like, the shoes are good, but this is little perfumes. Jimmy Choo. Two of them. Right here. So I'm going to list those right now. They've been sitting in my perfume cabinet, and I just haven't used them, so I'm going to sell them. Google Lens is your friend. Yes, Google Lens is amazing. And I'm hoping to do some more educational type videos here soon. I think I'm going to change up like a like video model, I think. I think I need to put a little more effort in some of my videos, so... Some that might change, but let me know what you guys do like in my videos, I guess, so I know what to, like, keep doing. Um, because I'm kind of, like, in a limbo right now with what I want to keep doing in my videos. <laughs> Google Lens has been better than eBay search, yeah, for sure. Jimmy Choo Blossom. I wonder. One is new. The other one's not. What size is that? Point one five fluid ounce. Hey Matt. Have you tried a few guests yet? Have talk about reseller gossip and such? Um, I've had a few guests on my lives before. Um, it's been a minute. What happens when I can't find, say, the dish I have? Is it a rare then? Just curious. Um, <sighs> Google Lens it. If you can't find it, try adding keywords to the Google Lens, especially if it's marked, like if it has, like, Made in USA or a name on the bottom. Look it up. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, a piece I have that's an example of, like, a weird, hard-to-find piece. Um, you can also add, you can also join some Facebook groups. Seven, what are you doing? One second. Go. Yeah, yeah. He's being naughty. Google Lens. Um, bought something from you. Matt bought something from me? Hold on, let me finish listing this.
take a picture of the dish and use the replacement search tool. They're better than Google ones for dishes. There we go. Yeah, that answer. Use that. <laughs> husband just got home. Alright guys, I'm gonna finish listening to this and I guess I'm gonna go because it's taco time. <laughs> He won't come down here on camera. <laughs> if he knows I'm live, he won't. <laughs> Tacos are, yes, they are important. What did Matt buy from me? Matt, what'd you buy? On eBay? Oh, he did. Thanks, Matt. Hey Alicia, ABC Matt, trying to help with your sales. I did for Mo, so I'm buying something from you too. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. I appreciate that. Do you want do you have my new ink picker sticker? Do you want me to send you one? Not the not the inky pinky, but the ink picker one. Like the cat one. I brought some did I bring some of those? Well, I wanted the Dolly Parton for a friend, but that's too expensive. Well you could have told me. Yeah, I'll send you a sticker. Anybody in the in the chat? If you buy something from me, let me know you're a viewer. I'll send you a sticker for free. Alright, guys. Well, it's taco time. So, thanks a lot for hanging out with me. Uh, new video just came out today. I think the next one's coming out on Monday. I'm doing like every three days as of right now until I catch up on footage. And then we'll start doing some other stuff. Time to go eat tacos again. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a great weekend. I will. I will enjoy those tacos. Thanks, guys.